I have a bad hip and I walk with a walker because of spinal stenosis. That is a bummer. I'm sorry about that. Is it possible for me to get help too? Okay. So I think the biggest misnomer that people go through when they are approaching a fitness program is thinking to themselves, I'm too injured, I'm too inflexible, I'm too old, I'm too inexperienced. Whatever the I'm too is for you is just a reason for you to not do something for yourself. The reality is we can all move our bodies in one way or another, okay? And whatever we're capable of doing, well, that's the thing that we should be focusing on. Particularly for this issue though, I wanna give you more than that. When you have spinal stenosis, this is when the spine compresses and the discs between the spine get compressed and you end up having usually um, issues where the nerves innervate the spine and come out into different areas of the body. So you end up having issues with your ability to have motor control, strength, etc. One of the things you can do is decompress your spine. Decompression of the spine is really important when it comes to things like spinal stenosis. Now, probably the best way to decompress your spine is to have something where you can reach up, grab on with your arms, and drop your center of mass down so that you're pulling on your spine, or you're letting your lower body pull on the spine and lengthen the spine. If you don't have that, another great option is, I'm gonna use the couch here and pretend it's a kitchen sink, but if you have a kitchen sink, walk over to your kitchen sink, grab the rim of the kitchen sink, and just bring your body back like this, and let your whole body traction, trying to pull down from the tailbone. You're trying to create space in the spine. Now, if I had spinal stenosis or if I had back pains and injuries, I would do this type of thing every single day, ideally twice a day, three times a day, for 30 seconds to a minute to decompress the spine, create more space between the discs, and create a healthier spine overall.